Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Live Portrait on locally, installing locally on your laptop. Or if your laptop is like mine, I'm using Mac M1. I'm going to show you how you can run it on cloud. So I'm going to use Run Pod for this. And uh, they're also providing a hugging face space. So if you are not interested in installing or but one downside with this is that it doesn't support video to video. So it is just image to video. So over here, you, you can just upload the image and the source or driving video. But what if you want to upload the video and the driving video, you want video to video. So you have to uh, run it locally or maybe on cloud. So that is exactly what I'm going to show you today. So as I said, I'm going to use RunPod or if you are using any other website or service, you can follow the steps would be kind of similar. If you want to run it locally, you can fast forward. I will provide a timestamp directly to the installation. So this will be a setting up the cloud GPU. So if you are using RunPod like me, I'm going to go to pods, then deploy. Then I'm going to search for the community cloud. And for this live portrait, I found out uh, even A4000 will going to work out really good. It will be really fast. And I think it is the cheapest as well. It's just 17 cent an hour. Maximum, it's going to take you an hour getting to use to installation running and all. It's just going to take up maximum 17 cent or maybe maximum two hours at all. So we are going to use RTX A4000. If you want more powerful, you can go with that. But I think this is pretty good. So I will just click on RTX 4000. Now in run pod, I don't know in other services, if we have uh, ability to choose the template, but over here you can choose the template. You can change the template to any other template if you want. But I think this is pretty basic one we can go with, which is PyTorch 2.4 and as well as CUDA 12.4. So we'll just use this one. GP count will be definitely one and everything will be just simple and straightforward. Nothing too much complicated. And we can just click on deploy on demand. So I'm just going to go on my, my pods and within a second or something, it will be just up. Okay, so you can see it is now up. I'm going to click on connect. And we will use web terminal. I'm going to click on start. Then open the web terminal. All right. Now from here, you can follow same steps. If you want to run it locally, or if you want to run it on cloud, we are on terminal. If you are, if you are trying to run it locally, you can open your terminal or command prompt on windows and follow the same steps and follow the same steps and you'll be good to go. So I'm just going to open up both the windows side by side. All right. So I've opened the windows side by side. Now, if I show you my current working directory, so we are at the root, I'm going to go to home by saying cd home or you can skip these commands this is like we are moving through the directory so i'm changing my directory to home right now so over here i'm going to clone the repository by using this command so you can just say git clone and just paste it over here or you can install it wherever you want to okay so i'm going to move to the live portrait by saying cd which is changed directly to live portrait now if i just ls there will be a requirements.txt file so i'm just going to say pip install dash r requirements.txt Okay, while it is installing the requirements, I'm going to open another terminal. I can click on connect and open another web terminal. And with that, we are going to download the models. So we need hugging face CLI for this. So the command for that would be over here, pip install hugging face CLI. But let's just change the directory to home, our working directory, which is home and live portrait. And I'm going to install this, pip install hugging face CLI. Now, since we are in the live portrait, you can check. I'm just going to clear the screen real quick. You can see we are in the home live portrait. I'm going to run this below command. Make sure you're in the same directory. Now we are going to download the models by using this command. So it's going to go to their official repository of hugging face and download the weights in the pretend weights directory. If this command is not working, you can follow the below command over here. Now, I, now our work with this uh, is done. I'm going to expand this terminal. Now we have downloaded the weights. Let's just see. Oh, we have installed all the requirements. I'm going to close one of the terminal. Now uh, for running the app, you can say app.py and make sure you share it by saying dash dash share. So we got an error that ffmpg is not installed. It's really easy to solve it. We just have to install the ffmpg. For that, you have to say apt get update or I think it is apt update. Yeah. So you have to say apt update and then you have to say apt install ffmpg dash y. Okay, once ffmpg is installed, we are going to retry python f.py dash dash here. Now, since I'm using runpod, maybe it is installed already installed on your laptop. So if you are trying it locally, you don't worry about these red warning error. Okay, now since we have we are sharing, we will get the public URL. If you're running it locally, you can leave this dash dash here. You won't need this. But since we are on cloud, I'm going to use that. Now click on the below link. If you are on local, click on this local link, which is 127.0.0.1. All right, now you see the difference. We got another tab, which is source video and source image, driving image, driving pickle, a lot of new options. Uh, so we are going to try the source video. We are going to use the examples from here. I'm going to use this video, looks good. And we'll just first play this. This is just a cinematic kind of shot. 
and uh, I'm going to use this driving video. Yeah, it will be interesting to see if it matches everything. And there are other options here. You can have a look at them. Uh, do crop source. Now I know about it. If you uncheck it, it is going to apply the detection on whole whole uh, frame. If you do crop, then it is just going to crop the face and apply the detection on it, and then later on expand paste it in the original frame just like that you can try it give it a try and it is interesting to play with all of these options there is also uh, another option yeah this one animation region just pose lip eyes expression all i'm just going to keep it on all there's a driving video i2v there is a driving multiplier you can play with all of them i'm just going to click on animate just to show you that it is working and if you go back to terminal you see that it started working on this so you see loaded the source video loading the, loaded the driving video now you can upload it from locally on your from your laptop as well this is just uh, to show you quickly using these videos so we'll see how long does it take so you can see there are another few examples here with different options we are going to have a look uh, at the below features as well real quick since we are here we will just i'm just going to show you everything it can do as far as uh, if you want my opinion on runport i think it is really good but uh, as far as balance you have to at least uh credit 10 us dollar if you want to make a transaction you cannot do five dollar three dollar something you have to uh, recharge with at least ten dollar now they provide really good amount of gpu and all now as i was showing you that we are just using a4047 gb ram so it is using really less once it start to animate it's going to use the gpu and ram as well but this configuration really works well on the live portrait so if you want to have a look at the pricing on their website of runport this is not a sponsor or at, at all i just paid my own money if you want to try it you can have a look at it I'm trying it uh, from the last one or two days. I really found it, uh, I think, easy to use, I would say. They also have their recent animal, animal uh, live animal, I think they call it, live animal portrait, something. You can uh, use that as well, uh, but just changing the command from here, I'm just going to show you. So we are running app.py for humans mode. You can uh, run python app underscore animals.py for animal mode. So it's going to use animal models. All right, so it is finally done, I think. Okay, so let's just see the results. Uh, I'm just going to expand this one to show you. Okay, now let's just see the original one. Yep, so this the purpose of this video is just to show you. Now you can uh, upload any different video of yours if you want. You can upload any different driving video of yours if you want. It's just all up to you. Now let's just uh, see below other things and there is a, another another tab below if you scroll there is a retargeting and editing portraits so you just have to upload the source portrait and the uh, eye open ratio lip open ratio will be calculated adjust the slider to see the instant edit feel free to experiment set both target eye open and lip open ratio to see what's going on okay i think uh you can upload your portrait on this and you can uh, play with this uh the facial movement sliders the relative pitch relative view relative uh, law and all Let's just try maybe eyebrow maximum 30. Oh, so this one was the original and this is the retargeted results. Let's just try um, wink expression, maybe 12.32. Uh, yeah, you just get the idea what this is all about. Now there is another feature called retargeting video. And this is just, I think, exactly the same, but for the video. So we can just try uploading this short video this time. Oh, this is just 12 seconds. Maybe a little more short. Yeah, four seconds is fine. Okay, so we'll just make a few changes. Target lip open ratio. Let's just increase it a little bit. Motion smoothing. We'll just increase it. Uh, keep the lips silent. Okay, let's just say the target video and see what we get. All right, I think it's done. Let's head back to our Gradio. And this one is the original and this one is the retargeted. Oh, it's funny, I think. Yeah, you can just play it with this all day long. And if you have really powerful CPU, GPU, RAM, you are lucky, man. Uh, we have to pay for this. So I'm just going to stop it. We're just going to head back to the terminal. I'm going to say Control plus C. And it's just going to kill the terminal. Let's head back to uh, my ports. If you are using any other service, you can make sure to stop it. Otherwise, it's going to cost you a lot of money. And I'm just going to stop port. And let's just delete it as well. I'm not going to use it anymore. 
so yeah this is it for this video installing live portrait locally and on cloud and i have shown you on runpod this video is not sponsored by runpod in any way i paid i paid them actually to buy their service to show you to create a video about install, installing live portrait all right this is it if you have any doubt while regarding installation you can ask them in down comment section that's it see you in the next video